What? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Come on. I haven't eaten yet today. Really? I can't finish my food first? Fine. 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 Hello, hello, YouTube, Quest for 151, back at it again. Hope you're all having a lovely, lovely Thursday. Um, yeah, uh, my days this coming week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, might be a little bit busy, so I'm recording, I'm recording this on Sunday ahead of time, way ahead of time. But, in any case, this is coming up on Thursday. Hope you're all having a lovely week, because we are going to get into some more Dollar Tree packs here today. Um... We did pretty well with polls last week when we uh, added more to our stack. So, we are going to go with uh, 20 something today. We're going to go through this stack. I'm not going to add any more. See that? I'm going to close the box. Box goes over there. Not going to get up and get more. But, we are going to open up all these right here. Uh, there's only four Sword and Shield packs, but there's plenty of Rebel Clashes. So, we're going to try to hope and see if we can add something to our collection. For our vintage Wizards of the Coast card today, we have a. First edition Heracross from uh, from the mystery box that our buddy AC Pokemon established for us. The man's got the man has an insane uh, well not insane but he's got a pretty good uh, eBay auction list going on right now. So if you want some uh, some graded cards, some vintage cards, you're looking for product. I suggest you take a look at his Instagram. I will link it in the description below. It is warm. Take a look at his Instagram. He's got an eBay link in his bio. I should, I'll just link it down there as well. Uh, check out what he's got because he's got some uh, pretty sick stuff going on. He got scissors again because Dollar Tree packs are very difficult. We are once again hoping that none of these have been weighed. Uh, Sword and Shield hasn't been weighed to the best of my recollection because we got some pretty good stuff last week. Uh, so we're hoping that Rebel Clash is going to be the same thing. Uh, scissors gonna help us out and the score rupee so uh, here we go and for those of you who don't know what I mean by um, Pokemon card packs being weighed uh, the code cards in regular booster packs um, you know how it says there's a if it's a green code card in the back or if there's a white code card in the back they usually have different types of pulls for usually for hollow rare or better uh, it'll be a white code card supposedly and then a green code card for any for non hollows essentially um let's see all the goss rookity and a crabby okay so last pack for sword and shield see if we can get anything new out of this uh weighing packs so uh the code cards were established because the different types of code cards are meant to offset the different weights in the card packs uh due to holographic cards weighing more than regular uh regular non-holographic cards i got an oranguru holographic rare okay not bad i'm just gonna leave that here for now so we did get a hollow pull out of this one um so with so weights in regular booster packs because of the different code cards and the weights of the code cards it meant to offset and make everything more even you can't really weigh cards very well uh capture energy um like you could with wizards of the coast or prior to any of the code cards uh being implemented you could weigh them because uh the rare card if it's a holographic rare then it'll weigh a lot more than a non-holographic rare just a just a teeny bit it's a minute difference but if you have a scale that works well enough you'll be able to tell the difference roly cold Okay, let me speed this up, because uh, I'm busy talking and it's slowing down the opening process. Uh, however, with uh, Dollar Tree Packs, because there's only three cards in it, uh, if there is a full art or any holographic rare, um, or even a reverse holographic, they will weigh differently than regular 
non-holographic cards if it's all three and it's a lot easier to tell with the weights so because it's just frowned upon and not illegal anyone could go into a dollar store where they sell dollar tree packs and take a scale there and weigh them out because that's what they actually used to do when they sold wizards of the coast packs they would go to the store go to a target uh, bring a scale with them. Oh, I'm so sorry if this was not on the camera. I've not been checking the camera um, Metatite reverse holographic. Okay, so we're not coming up with some great pulls right now Perhaps I mean it doesn't seem like they were weighed, but perhaps we're not Someone just got lucky and took all the good ones fighting Barboach Squovet So yes, people used to take scales to the Store they still take scales to the store now actually uh, specifically for the Dollar Tree packs for the or for the dollar packs So Dollar Tree Dollar General. Oh Clefable holographic, which is actually something that's new. I don't have this one yet I only have the Clefable reverse holographic, but I don't have the regular Clefable holographic. So that's a win I will take that. However, this is 20 something bucks right here. There's 25 packs in here. I believe 25 packs uh, and we've gone through half of them already. Hopefully we can make back $25, Magmar. So, not much return here. Just two holographic rares and a reverse holographic. Uh, so yeah, it's not, it's frowned upon, but it's not illegal. So, I mean, customers, or, uh, PDOV, reverse holographic. Uh, employees can't exactly say, hey, don't do that, because... I mean, technically they could if they wanted to, um, but it's just not cool. It's just not ethical. It's 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 uh, you're not playing fair. Shinks. Wow, today's pulls are not that great. All right, come on, work with me here. Work with me here. Rebel Clash. Can you give me something? Dollar packs. Hone Edge. Un pheasant. Okay. Nope. Pulled that one yesterday. Or I pulled that one on Monday, I believe, and it was new when we pulled it on Monday, but it is not new to the binder today because we already have it. Dark Litwick Reverse Nugget. Okay, so I got a reverse holographic. But we're looking for ultra rares here. Can we get some ultra rares in this set? All right, we got about like maybe less than ten left. Nani? Mm, it's getting hot in here because I'm sweating and that pull oh my gosh hopefully that was all in focus if that if none of that if none of this was in focus so far I'm so sorry but we have a cinder ace v full art number 178 out of 192 field runner if a stadium is in play this Pokemon has no retreat cost wow okay and uh, crimson legs 140 damage but this is a full art which is also very much new to the binder Cinderace V, we welcome you to our polls for today. You are definitely, okay, bringing the heat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now I'm excited to get through the rest of these packs because maybe there's something more in here. Okay, cool, here we go. Fighting, okay, fighting. Binacle. And a reverse rare Galarian Runarius. So, I will take that. That might, that's actually new. I don't have the reverse rare yet. I only have the regular non holo rare. Woo! Okay. Charger Bug. Stunky. Magmortar. Again, that's our second one today. Okay. So, here we go. 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 Can we get some. Can we get some, some good? Some good. What a. Grubbin. And a reverse low tad. Okay. Uh, I think that's new. I don't think we have the reverse low tad yet. You know, when I open these packs, or when I, um, yeah, when I use the scissors to open it, I feel like I'm gonna do a flip it or rip it challenge, and it, like, scares me when I'm cutting it. So I, I feel like I have to be very, very careful. Okay, we got five more packs left. Wow, I've been talking a lot. Maybe these packs would have been opened faster if I didn't talk as much, so I apologize if some of you don't like the sound of my voice and just want to see what I open up. Squovit again, wow, okay, four more packs left. Here we go. Lightning. Impidimp. Milky Reverse. Okay. I think that's new. 
So we're adding some holograph. We're, we're, adding, we're adding some reverse holographic arts to our uh, collection today. That's for sure. We got one full art so far and two holographic rares. Three packs left. Let's see if we can't add anything else. Fire. Here we go. Not two. Okay. Not today with that pack. Terrible puns. Terrible puns. I'm so sorry. Okay. Steel. Roly Coley. And an Applin. <sighs> okay. I'm not opening any more packs after this. This is the last pack. I swear. Rillaboom, you are the last pack. So, it is all down to you, bud. Can you give us another ultra rare today? Psychic. Slunky. And a chandelure holographic. Okay, so we got three holographic rares. We got six reverse holographics and one full art ultra rare Cinder Ace V. Okay, so um, can't complain about it. I guess I'll take it. Uh, at least we got a full art ultra rare out of it. Hopefully we, well, we do have 26 more packs to go. Hopefully when we open those up, that they'll give us a lot more heat and a lot more pulls and a lot more new additions to the binder. But in any case, hope you're all having a lovely Thursday. Take it easy, and I will see you on Monday for another one. Oh, Monday, Hidden Fates. Yes, actually Monday is my birthday. So, uh, I, well, yeah, Monday is my birthday. Whatever, I'll, I'll throw that out there. But we're gonna be opening up some good stuff. Hopefully, hopefully we uh try to we can try to get closer to uh, completing that binder. We've only got certain uh, a few more cards left to go. Less than 10, actually no, exactly 10 cards left before I can complete my Master Set Binder. So, we will see if we can complete that on Monday. I'll be opening up more Hidden Fates, and then more Hidden Fates maybe Thursday or the following Monday. But in any case, have a great weekend, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye!